Okay guys, how you doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. I want to explain to you guys about working with PVC and the reason why we don't touch it. Because PVC, and this is PVC right here, has a very interesting surface that will crack and peel with any kind of uh, paint or anything that is applied to the screen. Now over here, we have the PVC using the uh, fusion which is rolled on and this right here is a fusion that is fused on. This is a fusion uh, crystal vision screen that's fused on and this one's rolled on. So there's a difference between the two. All right, One's fused, one's rolled on. Now let me show you something really interesting in this demonstration. I'm going to show you how we thoroughly test a screen. Now, some people may take a little washcloth right here and dab the side of the screen with it and then scratch it with their finger and say, hey, look, it, it can take on weather. This is not a demonstration. Tapping, dabbing the screen, I'm sorry to say, dabbing the screen with a little bit of a wet cloth is not showing your screen's capability that it can withstand. Uh, really, really heavy elements of of, um, of uh, outside weather and whether or not the screen will crack or peel. Now, this right here is regular PVC. This right here is PVC painted with bare silver screen right there. I got some on my hand, but you see the difference between the two. This is bare silver screen right here. And this right here is PVC painted with our fusion silver used with a roll, roll on. Um, this is the first base. So I was going to tell somebody that we can never sell this in a screen paint form because this is the first step. Uh, after that, there's like uh, 13 more steps after this to actually complete the screen. And it has to be done with some form of machinery. And then over here, we have our fusion black screen right here. This is our fusion black screen. Uh, and to show you that, we're going to do the exact same abuse to this screen as we're going to do the rest of these. All right, so what we're going to do is, instead of taking a cloth and dabbing the side of the screen, that's not a demonstration, it just isn't. I'm gonna show you how we do our demonstrations over here. I'm gonna grab this. Well, I don't need this right here. I just need these three right here. And we're gonna go over to our container of water we have here. And I'm going to submerge the screens in soapy water. These are all the tests that we have to do. Put some detergent now. All right, say so you have to do more than just dab the side of your screen with a little wet cloth and then scrape on it just a little bit. You have to really show that your screen can take some abuse. All right, so everything's all covered in soap. Take it out over here, rinse it off. I'm gonna flex a little over the place. Again, my wife will murder me. All right, so we rinse this off real good. All right. Now, one of the things I didn't see in the demonstration, sorry, I'm not trying to put anybody down, but you know, you got to crumble your screen up to a ball. There you go. One. Two. Now, we don't use, like I said, we don't use PVC. Because, like I said, PVC will crack and will peel if, if uh, taking on a lot of, uh, we're talking about elements. If water hits this screen, um, any kind of high temperature hits the screen, these screens will crack and peel. Now, look, this is the bare silver screen that I just painted on the screen. Look at it already. Already, it's cracking and peeling already on the screen. Now, I'm not talking about, now, if you dab the screen with a little wet cloth on the side, I mean, come on, you're not really doing a thorough demonstration. A thorough demonstration would be submerging that screen in water because if your screen's outside, the rain's not dabbing particular parts of your screen. It's soaking down your entire screen. And that would show, you, you, you just, just demonstrates exactly by submerging the entire screen there, it shows the screen being submerged in water. You have to do these demonstrations right. Sorry about my dirty dishes there. Now, I'm going to take this screen right here, right there, and then over here, we have my Fusion. This is my Fusion black screen right there. Look at that. As a matter of fact, there's more soap on it. Let me wash the rest of this off.
Now, like I said, we've been dealing with PVC, and this is for those of you that are in the line of work that we do. You know, these guys up there that actually designing projection screens, and you think you want to go the way of PVC, we're telling you to stay away from it. PVC is bad, and I'll tell you why. PVC has all kinds of problems. Now, mind you, this is a PVC screen we just soaked in the water, and look at it already. It's already cracking, it's already peeling, it's already scraped up. It's easy to scratch. All right, so what we're gonna do is, first thing we're gonna do is take our fork, we're gonna go over to the crystal, I mean the uh, screen right here. Nothing, all right. Our screen right here. Nothing. That's the difference between a fuse screen. This is why we don't go near PVC. Now, our screens that are rolled on with our Crystal H technology screen is using the exact same surface that we use for our Fusion Silver, and those screens right there are will not um, will not um, uh, crack or peel um, even after you paint them. And this is just a scrape in the screen. Now, watch this. Take my hand here. And this is after submerging the screen in water. Crack and peel. Right. This is for those of you that are thinking of doing a, a uh, PVC screen, say you're going to invest your time and your money in designing your own PVC screen, this is what's going to happen if you use PVC. PVC, the surface will start to peel and will start to crack. Now like I said, if you just dab it with a cloth on the end with a little bit of water and you just do a little scrape and a little bit here and there, you're not really going to see much of it. But with this, Be to do a real demonstration. See, that's what I'm talking about. That is the difference between that. We use Fusion on these screens because Fusion actually um, knits itself into the material. Uh, a roll-on screen on PVC is going to be a problem. Now, a roll-on screen using the material that we use, we have a custom-made material for our blackout cloth. We can roll this on, we can fuse this on, we can spray this on, and it won't crack or won't peel. The problem you have here with PVC is PVC if you roll it, if you spray it, whatever you do, it's still going to crack, it's still going to peel, and you can still scratch it. And that's another thing too, you can scratch the screen. You can scratch your screen. I'm using the scrub brush right here. Look at this. Spell crystal edge. See? You just scrape the screen. You can peel it with our screen.
That's why it's called fusion. And also, too, this is the reason why we have a particular form of blackout cloth to test our screens on because these screens have to go through all kinds of punishment they have to be able to not crack and not peel now even with our roll-on kits this is our crystal edge technology screen paint roll-on kits uh the surface that comes with that is not the same it's a similar same surface but with that surface we can actually paint this on there and it won't crack and peel and then you consider the fact that these screens are superior I and mean, these screens are fantastic we tested these screens against supernova elite screens the dark star nine i'll put them at the bottom of the video comment section to show you how advanced these screens are this shows you how cool these screens are you sit this outside and it won't get it can get wet snow sleet ice whatever it's not going to be a problem for the screen and we can take a bunch of soapy water and we can just splash all the screen not going to be a problem for the screen. Just not going to be a problem. Like I said, now if you're the demonstration, you got to see the thing about it. When you do a demonstration, you got to do it right. You can't just do it halfway. You can't just take a rag and just dab the side of the screen and just scrape it a little bit and say, hey, look, see, look, the entire screen. I had this outside and it can take all kinds of damage. No, 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 no. You have to do the test. You have to take the screen, you gotta submerge it in the water. You gotta scrub it. You gotta wrinkle it up. You gotta boil it up into a ball. You have to show that your product can do what it says it can do. This is why I have to go through all the testing to show you guys. Well, there's a lot of testing that goes behind my work. You know, you have to do more then just show that your screen looks pretty. I can take my screen outside, I can sit it out there, it can be out there for days, it can be out there for months, and it will look fantastic, it won't crack, it won't peel. Look at this, nasty anymore? It's not fireproof, but other than that, you could beat the crap out of that screen. And then here you are, you have this. Now this is PVC. And this is the reason why we don't use PVC, because PVC, if any moisture gets under this screen, if this screen gets wet, and I'm not talking about dabbing it with a cloth on the side, I'm talking about submerging the screen in water. I'm talking about balling it up. Balling the screen up, like I did my screen. Ball it up, really trash it. Look at this, take your nails, run it over top of it. And this shows you how strong our screens are. Take a scrub brush, did this on both screens. And look, at this. <coughs> look at this, sorry about that. That shows you how to do a proper test. Now, if your screen can go through all that kind of punishment, you got a fantastic screen. But like I said, this is the reason why we don't use PVC. And this video is made not out of hatred or any form of, uh, I don't know what other people might try to get out of this. It's just to warn people that if you're in, you're going to do the kind of line of business that I do um, involving uh, projection screens, uh, PVC is not where you want to go. On top of that, PVC, one of the other problems it has is even if you do ship the screen, uh, separately with the paint. The problem you have is the customer on the other end, once he paints it, if any kind of humidity and his environment gets up into that screen, it is going to deteriorate. If he has the screen outside and it gets hit with the full elements of outside weather, it is going to crack and it is going to peel. You will see it. So it doesn't make a difference if you paint it on your end, that's what you're going to get. And this is the kind of test we have to do when we actually show off our projection screens especially our blackout cloths. We have to be able to ball this stuff up. We have to be able to take our fingers and run it over top of it. We have to be able to take a scrubber to it. We have to go through the whole nine yards. And you see me take a fork. And you took a fork over the screen. You can see our screen is actually scratch resistant because we took a fork over top of it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Uh, just to let you know, we are having a promotional sale on our Crystal H Technology Screen Paint Kits. Um, we have the uh, one gallon now going for around $249. Uh, we have the two quarts that are painted up to 120 to 150 uh, That one is going for around $192. And then we have the one quart kit that can paint to a 20 inch all the way up to 100 inch. That is going for $168. That be with free shipping. Just shows you exactly how amazing our screen are just look at that okay guys i hope you enjoyed the video demonstration I'd like to thank you all for watching look at that and the reason why i did the screen with the bare silver screen to show you that it doesn't make a difference uh what kind of paint that you have that you're using uh on your pvc it is going to peel and crack regardless and like i said it's not enough just to do a little test where you dab the side of the screen and you scrape it a little bit and say hey look it looks fantastic. 
you have to put your screen through the test. Let me tell you something really quick. Would you buy a car if you found out every part of that car was tested except for the brakes? The brakes weren't properly tested, right? I mean, they were tested, but not to the point where it should have been tested. Would you get into that car and would you drive around with your friends and family knowing that not 100% sure the brakes are going to work when you need them? And this is the reason why we have to do these tests. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I got to clean this mess up before my wife gets down here because I'm trying to get talk, 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 talk and get beat up. So let me uh, get all this done. Hope you guys enjoyed the video demonstration. For those of you that are venturing out and you're thinking about getting into the world of projection screens, uh, I would advise you do your research. You know what I mean? Be careful. Do your research. Do your tests. Don't have to do your tests. Really put the screen through some scrutiny testing because it can mean the difference of you basically damaging your product's name. You can send something out there and have massive returns because people later on are having problems with the screens cracking and peeling. You don't want to go down that road. So do proper testing. Don't be afraid to beat the crap out of your product. Trust me because somebody else will. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for watching.